Hey everybody, Phone Scoop here. Today, Phone Scoop is going to take a brief look at the HTC HD2, this flagship Windows Mobile 6.5 device that's currently available for sale in European markets. And um, HTC has indicated that one of the US network operators is going to carry this device at some point in 2010, though it hasn't specified which one that will be. But anyway, so until that time, we can at least take a look at it, and um, and this is the HD2, and uh, it is perhaps uh, HTC's finest piece of hardware. Um, it's it, it can't be stressed enough how ginormous the uh, the screen of this device is. Um, for comparison's sake, I'll hold it next to an iPhone, and uh, you can just see that the, the size difference is is pretty clear. Um, you know, there's a 4.3 inch screen on the HD2, and uh, it measures uh, 800 pixels, so it's a just a huge screen. And uh, so we'll. Uh, continue our tour around the outside. We've got a volume toggle here which has good travel and feedback. On the bottom we have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack and a micro USB port. On the right is, uh, is nothing. On the top is nothing. And on the back you'll see only the camera and uh, dual L uh, LED flash that's uh, there and uh, great for the speaker and the battery cover which is uh, this area here. On the front of the device there are just a few buttons. We've got send and end keys, we've got the home key, the start key, and a back key. So let's fire up the screen so you can uh, get a look at this bad boy in action. Here's the lock screen on Windows Mobile uh, 6.5 and uh, here is the screen itself. So you can see it's uh, you know it's it's really quite beautiful, and because this thing has a, a solid processor in it, it's one of the fastest touch flow 3D phones I've ever seen from HTC. Um, obviously, they've been trying to optimize uh, touch flow for the 528 megahertz processors that are in a lot of its other phones. It just flies on this device. I mean, you can see how quickly it responds to my finger touch um, on the screen. So, of course, this is a capacitive display, uh, not resistive, and uh, that makes it uh, very easy to interact with. Hitting the uh, menu key here, we go to the main menu in Windows Mobile 6.5, and it has the uh, kind of the offset menu look. Everything is, is certainly large enough to be pushed with your finger, and uh, you can slide all the applications up and down here. It's preloaded with a number of applications, uh, including the Opera browser, um, though of course we can't say that uh, whatever network operator chooses this phone will want to keep that browser on this device or not. Of course you've got um, HTC's Twitter client peep there, Facebook application, uh, social networking stuff, and uh, and all the usual things. Uh, you've got YouTube, Internet Explorer, the phone application, email, calendar, um, photo albums, camcorder, games, um, you know, Windows Marketplace, and on and on and on. You got pretty much everything is uh, is right here in the main start menu. Of course, that's all very easily accessible here from the main screen and TouchFlow 3D. And, um, you know, not much has changed from TouchFlow. Um, you can uh, sort through your photo albums, uh, you know, in this uh, nice postcard way, or you can just dive in and look at them, uh, you know, in a grid fashion. Moving over to the music, uh, there's probably nothing on here. Yeah, just the standard two uh, test files for Windows Mobile. And again, you can uh, swipe through your artists and albums this way with your thumb. And uh, we've got HTC's weather widget on here. It's got its, uh, here's uh, here's Twitter loaded onto the, uh, you know, right into touch flow. In addition to footprints. And then last is the uh, is the settings page here, which lets you dive in and control all the different aspects of the phone. We'll jump all the way back out to the beginning. So um, that's the uh, HTC HD2 in a nutshell. Uh, a massive Windows Mobile 6.5 phone. Uh, perhaps the best Windows Mobile 6.5 phone that's on the market right now. Um, not available directly in the U.S., but uh, coming in 2010 uh, to one of the network operators. Um, and uh, that's definitely something to look forward to. So there it is, HTC HD2.